In this video, what we want to do is we want to show how to graph a histogram, a box plot, and a scatter plot. So here are going to be our two data sets. Here's L1 and here's L2. Whenever you want to graph a histogram, a box plot, or a scatter plot, the first thing you want to do is go to Y equals and make sure that you do not have any other equations graphed because what we don't want to happen is we don't want to plot and have an equation graphing at the same exact time. So you can just press clear if you have any equations listed in there. So next place we want to go is under stat and we want to go to edit. This is how we're actually going to enter the data in our list. So I've already entered in L2. If you have data listed in L1 that's from an old example. You can quickly delete these values by using the arrow key to so go up to L1 and you press clear then enter and that will easily delete all of the values from your list. So we're going to enter in our first data set L1. We press enter in between each entry Now, you always want to make it a habit to go back and check to make sure that you've entered your data correctly. Once we've done that, where we want to go is under stat plot, and stat plot is right above the y equals button. Since it's in blue, we have to press the second button first, and then the y equals in order to be able to access that menu. So you have three different plots that you can have listed. You have some more available as well. So we press enter. The first thing we want to do is turn the plot on. Currently it's off and the way we know that is you have a black box around off. To turn it on you just press the enter. Next, the first one is our scatter plot. The second one is our line graph. The third one is our histogram. The fourth and fifth graphs are our box and whisker plots. This one shows you if there are outliers and this one does not and this is a normal probability distribution. So arrow key down to get to the next one and we're already on a histogram. If you had to change it, move your cursor, press enter. For histograms it only requires one data set so the X list is L1. If your data was not in L1, right above your numbers at the bottom is how you can change your list. Once again these values are in blue so if I wanted to change it to L2, I would just press second in L2. But the data that I want is in L1. Frequency is how many of each of these data values do we have. We have one value of each. So what we want to do is to press graph. And I've already changed my format of the graph. Sometimes you would get a graph that looks a little different from what you're expecting. So you press the trace button and the difference with this type of graph with histograms we want to know how many of each of these data values do you have. So sometimes it does not automatically show you that view. So here our minimum is four it's asking us how many of our values are below six. So that's two of them four and five if we go to the next column now we're looking at a minimum of six so this is not quite what we wanted we wanted one bar four one bar five one bar six two bars at seven because we have two sevens so the way we have to fix this is we go under window our x minimum is four that's fine our x max is fourteen which is fine here's our problem our histogram is counting by twos that's what your x scale is and we just want it to count by ones. So we're going to use our arrow key and we want our X scale to be one. So now when we press graph, this is more of what we're used to seeing. We press the trace button, we have one four, we have one five, we have one six, we have two sevens, one eight, 
one nine, one ten. We have no elevens, and this number here is showing you how many of each of the quantities you have. Next column, how many twelves? So that's our histogram. If we want a box plot of this data, we're going to go back to y equals, well, stat plot right above y equals. Press enter. Now we need to change our type. So we're just going to use this one without indicating any outliers. So we use our arrow key to go down. We use our right arrow key to switch in between the types. Press enter. We're still looking at the information from L1, one data value each. We press graph. Windows already set up for us. If we could not see this graph, you can always press zoom and then option number nine. And option number nine is zoom stat. So for statistics, it automatically looks at your list and it creates a window based on the data values that you have. So we can trace this graph as well. Here is our five number summary. So you have your median, which is seven, also known as Q2. Q1 is 5.5. Our minimum is four. We go to the right. Q3 is 9.5. Our maximum is 12. So last but not least, scatter plots, you need two sets of data. So here's our first set of data. Here's our second set of data. Still, we're under stat plot. Press enter. We want it on. Here's our option for stat plot. Press enter. And now you see your options change. Because with scatter plot, you're relating two variables to each other. So L1 is our X list, L2 is our Y list. Our mark is how we can actually see those points graphed. So we're gonna press graph. Here you only see three points. Once again, the way you fix this, you go to zoom and option number nine, which is zoom stat. So now you can see our data points plotted. If you press trace, it starts here. There is our 12 and 15. And it starts here because these are the first data values in the list. And you can use your arrow keys to go to the next. There's four and one. There's your next one, five and one. And it continues on and so forth.